Hi there and welcome to the woods. In this uh, episode we will do it like a Neanderthal. We will try to make fire just like the Neanderthals did. And the Neanderthals, they uh, used uh, marcasite and flint together with um, probably amadou as a tinder. We'll try to make uh, some Neanderthal coffee. That's, uh, <laughs> that's the goal here. And uh, most probably the Neanderthals, they used uh, marcasite, which is a uh, iron containing rock and flint and uh, Amadou, which is a, a, a mushroom. And uh, you remembered in the last video, we, we made this Amadou by boiling it in, in ash water. I have to sharpen this flint piece here. It's not sharp. And to create good sparks, it need to be, it need to be sharp. So we'll try to sharpen it. Flint is a hard, type of rock. Therefore it was used to um, to make all kinds of tools. And first we have to put our our amadou here. And it has to be um, has to be fluffed up so it better receives the um, the spark. So use a, a piece of flint here to, to make it fluffier. The modern human, our own species, met the Neanderthals 50,000 years ago in Europe. And uh, after just a few thousand years together, the Neanderthals were, um, they were gone. They went extinct. They disappeared. But uh, we know from the traces we find in caves that they, uh, they were probably able to, to, to make fire on purpose. And they probably used this method that we will use right now. Okay. So here we have the spark. When you make uh, amadou the proper way, it catch it got it it gets very good at uh, catching sparks. So now we only have to transfer this to our tinder bundle. There is our Neanderthal fire. <laughs> Before you try this yourself, make sure to, uh, to, to make good amadou, because good amadou is essential. It has to be cooked in, um, in ash water before, <coughs> before it is uh, good enough.
There is still some controversy about this. Uh, <laughs> the question if Neanderthals were really able to make fire on purpose. This controversy, it uh, depends on the fact that there is a lack of evidence of fire making among Neanderthals during the colder periods uh, of the last thousand years in Europe. Because during the colder periods uh, <laughs> they should make more fire to keep themselves warm and to, to, uh, to cook their food and so on. Uh, there is lack of traces there, which suggests, suggests that they did not make fire <laughs> in Europe, the Neanderthals. But um, there are also evidence of uh, wear, um, wear marks on stones, on, on flints, flint stones, um, which implies that they have been used to strike strike uh, something, possibly uh, marcasite, to make sparks. The problem with marcasite, the problem with marcasite is that it is, it's degradable, it's degradable. It's, it, it oxidizes, it oxidizes and it is broken down. So therefore, if you leave such a stone out in the open, you won't, um, there won't be anything left in 100 years because it's, it uh, falls apart. And uh, that can explain the lack of marcasite, the lack of pyrite stone in the fossil record. Soon we'll have our Neanderthal coffee. Cheers. Ah. Hmm. Another thing I'm I'm convinced about is that uh, the Neanderthals had coffee, and I mean, how could they? How could they survive if they didn't have their, their coffee? And possibly when the modern human arrived in Europe and met the Neanderthal, they, uh, they, they took all their coffee and uh, the Neanderthal numbers dwindled and they went extinct. <clears throat> so I guess it's just a matter of time till we find traces of uh, coffee, coffee beans in, uh, in the fossil record. <laughs> yeah, that's all for now. And uh, take care and uh, I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. So good this Neanderthal coffee, it's fantastic. Mm. <laughs>